Hello there, Great Valley. Welcome back to the Great Valley Sports Show. My name is Ryan, and as always, we've got important news to go over. First, with the college basketball's March Madness, and then on over to the Sixers, and then finishing things out with the Flyers. So let's start things out with men's college basketball this year. If you made a bracket for this year's tournament, I mean, it's absolutely destroyed at this point. Why am I so confident saying that? Well, this year there have just been so many upsets already with teams like Loyola Chicago, Oral Roberts, Syracuse, North Texas, Oregon State, and so many more who have just knocked down their better seeded opponents. I can say from my own personal experience that after day one my bracket was not doing too well, and then after that it's just been going downhill ever since. Now the women's tournament has been a lot nicer, and that's mainly because, well, there just haven't been as many upsets. If you were trying to create a perfect bracket this year, I mean their tournament would be a lot easier than the men's because most of the high seeds have already been knocked out. If you want to watch some March Madness basketball. This week would be a great week to do so, as both the men and women are going to be on this week. If you want to see some of the men's upcoming games, here they are. And if you want to see some of the women's upcoming games, here they are. Okay, so now we have to go on over to the professional sports, and by professional sports, I mean we're starting things out with the Sixers. The Sixers have been surviving at the top of the Eastern Conference standings, even though over the last few games they've not had Joel Embiid to support them. Two of those wins came from the Sixers' back-to-back -back games that they played on both Sunday and Monday. Speaking of Monday's game, they almost blew it against the Knicks. They were leading late, and then the Knicks tied it. It's all over. Randall step back three, puts it up. Shot. It's oh! good! It's good! Randall gets the bounce, and he ties the game! and they took a great team effort in overtime in order to pull out ahead by one point. As for the most recent game for the Sixers, they started a West Coast road trip with the first game being last night against the Warriors. It was a very late start time and the game does not happen at the time of recording this, but at the time of releasing it, it will. So post setting Ryan has the score of the game right here. Honestly, these next four games are going to be really tough for the Sixers as they're all away and they feature teams like the Lakers, the Clippers, the Nuggets, and the Cavaliers. And we have to do all of these games without Joel Embiid. The hope is that the Sixers can maybe win some of these games and another hope for the Sixers is that they can add someone to their roster to help them out, especially when playoff time rolls around, maybe even someone like Kyle Lowry. The only thing that is certain with the Sixers is that in the next few weeks there will be very exciting basketball news to go over. But now, we gotta talk about the other professional team, the Flyers. What, what is going on with them? The team has been collapsing recently, as quite a few of their losses this season have come within the last 10 games, which includes a 9-0 loss against the Rangers. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a beating that bad, especially against a team that's trying to make a playoff push. As for last Monday's game, although the Flyers did outshoot their opponent, they had a rather rough loss in overtime, and then here is the results for Tuesday night's game. Looking at the standings, the Flyers are still in the playoff hunt, but they're going to need to start winning more games if they're going to want to make a true push for the playoffs. And that starts with tomorrow as they're going to face the Rangers, as well as Saturday where they have a game against the Rangers, and then they have a two-game series against the Sabres Monday and Wednesday. And that is how we're going to be ending this edition of the sports show. We will not be having a show next Wednesday, but the following Wednesday we will, and by that point the Phillies will be starting regular season action, so make sure you tune in to that Wednesday we'll be going over that, as well as Sixers action and Flyers action and March Madness action. But until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.